All righty, welcome back on Education Matters. Who teaches future teachers? Yeah, joining us today is Dr. Don Williams with Fresno State to talk about his physics outreach course and one of his students, Madison Harris. Thank you for joining us. Thank You're you for welcome. having us. Thanks for having We're us. We're so excited to have some fun in the studio, but tell us first <laughs> about this physics outreach course. Who is it for and who does it teach? So it's for um, future teachers and anyone who wants to be able to teach science, specifically physics. Um, to any generation or age. That's right. And you know, we're exactly. hearing about so much about exactly. STEM. Everybody's talking about STEM. We're talking, everyone's talking about getting more women, more young, young students involved Absolutely. in STEM. Why is it so important for students to be drawn to more science, engineering, and math, and not just stick to the traditional, you know, English and history courses? Um, well, I, for one, love science, specifically physics. See, that's going to give her that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I love that stuff, yeah. And um, I'm going into special education, specifically moderate to severe. And I kept on thinking, well, how am I going to incorporate science into a special education classroom? And then I saw that this course was live, hands-on. You actually go into schools and you do a presentation and I fell in love with it. It's incredible. And we go to schools that have autistic kids, special needs, all that. We go do that, yeah, because you think they can't enjoy this stuff? Yeah. This yes, is a lot absolutely. of fun. But I, it is, and it's all teaching. Don't forget that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What, what, what's, yeah. What, this is an example of what you have. Yeah. What are some of the other things that you guys do? Yeah, we, we basically, we, what we do is we not just go to schools, we go to public, all kinds of different events, you know. But I do like coming on TV and having <laughs> young ladies talking about how great science is because they still talk about STEM, but nobody's really doing anything. Now, out of Fresno State right now, We've got a special thing going on. We've teamed up with Chevron, and they've invested in us, and I've developed two trailers with gear in them. Very cool. Right? It is very cool, and I'm taking them out to students that are my former students that are teaching in schools right now, and they're showing not only their students, they're teaching the teachers at schools about this stuff. <laughs> is this over the top, right? No, so I'm super cool. excited about this, let alone the class. So it's just kind of expanded. But it's all about teaching people that science of all ages, like she said, mm -hmm. that it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, we have the most beautiful thing in the world to teach. We got a bit of nails right there, Joey and Jessica. Look at that. This yeah. is gonna I be mean, cool. Tell us, okay, yeah. so let's start doing the demonstration here. Right. And tell us, what are we learning with the bed of nails? There you go, I'm gonna have Madison tell you about that part. Go ahead, Madison. <laughs> so, uh, when we introduce our bed of nails, we first introduce our uh, miniature bed of nails. And we use um, pressure, because pressure is one of our main segments. It's our very first segment. And we introduce that students, excuse me, sorry. We introduce that um, pressure is area, uh, is force over area. Force over area, exactly. And exactly. the greater the area, the less the pressure is. That's and that's it. why that balloon doesn't pop. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, you just said there's 100 nails in that little thing, it does not even look like it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't. 10 by 10, Joey, huh? 10 by 10? Yeah, that works. 10 by so 10, 100 I, nails. I, I guess I am going to be testing this out, right? So what, what am I looking at here? What, what am I gonna be doing? So, well, you notice Joe hasn't gotten up yet. He's yeah, he had, he's Joey, still, he's the bottom line, out. would you lay on one nail like that? No, one? absolutely no. not. No. It's sharp. Listen, but how many nails do you think are there? Did you say a lot? You've already I thought that. it was like 2,000, <laughs> but you yeah, got to me. 5,000. 5,000 5, nails. That's the reason. That's a lot of nails. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot of nails. Now, Madison, were you going to go ahead and demonstrate how to do it here and show, show um, him how to do it? So well, I got, I'm getting on this, right? Okay, okay, I'm going to demonstrate here. All right, here we go. Watch. Now here's the key, you never touch the nails, okay. of course. You only touch the boards, right? And you get feet on each side, you squat down, and then you sit down. And of course, once you sit down, you don't move, right? <laughs> and the old man likes this, it feels good. And then you get an assistant, put your pillow right where you need it, and then you just, oh, it feels good. Okay. It's, it's awesome. And then you come up the same way you went down, right? All right, let's hope my pants don't rip. No, this they won't. This is the hardest thing I'll do today. No, you get no. to take a nap. Yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> if, so you'll be fine. If only I could take a nap. Yeah, you nervous, exactly. Joe? I'm not you, nervous. No, he's fine. <laughs> Feet on each side, bud, My and then just squat untied. down and grab the boards, and then just grab that board there, right, and the other board there, there, you got it, and then just sit, and once you sit, don't move, just go ahead and sit, you got your weight on it, there's the pillow, oh, yeah, okay. smile for that, leave right. dog, get the whole effect. That's not yeah, as bad as I thought. No, it isn't, it feels good actually, doesn't <laughs> no, it? No, it just feels like you're on the ground. Exactly, like gravel, like maybe laying yeah, on gravel yeah, or something exactly. like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, so you put your feet on each side to come up, same way, and then you just lean up, just like you came down, exactly, and like I said, oh. It makes a lot of noise, but you're fine. Believe me. Now, your cell phone would not have been good. Yeah, yeah. no, the noise, yeah. <laughs> the noise sounded worse than, a, than it felt. And Jessica, you're not going to try it. Yeah, Jessica's huh? turn. No, I, 
I'm okay. in a dress, so I think That's we're, we're right. going to we do can... that. But I will say, if I had a professor like you in college, I would have been a scientist and not just a journalist, because I think this stuff is so fun, and it challenges your perception. Exactly. And that's what I'm doing, Jessica. I'm training teachers, and they call me up, Don, I'm teaching so-and-so, and I go out to their school. Always. <laughs> really cool. And then we, and now that we have trailers, and we get more and more of those, see, because everybody's just been talking about this thing, but what we do is different. See, I've been at conferences all over the nation, and basically what we do is different because we go right into the classrooms, mm -hmm. oh, right exactly. in. We take the gear and go right into the classroom. This is so cool. much fun. It so is. if a teacher is watching and they're like, I want to show my students yeah. how to do this, check how do out our, Yeah, guys? check out our, uh, our outreach site. It's called fizzoutreach.org. All right, fizzoutreach.org, and you'll get a hold of Eric's in charge of my stuff. All that, you know, all that fancy uh, <laughs> social media stuff <laughs> stays away from you know what I mean but anyway uh, but this is you can see this is good of all ages uh, anybody tries this we go to Valley Children's Hospital we have kids that are hooked up to IVs laying on this bed of nails. Well, Very this morning cool. when I heard uh, laying on a bed of nails, it did not sound fun, but it really wasn't that bad. So it's really and cool it to hear that. It demonstrates pressure. Really the idea that if you spread force out over a, a big area, it's not much pressure. There's a magician better. watching right now who's very upset that you're showing <laughs> See, Jessica, the you, trick. Give me you the trick. Tell the we always tell them, you know, magic is science. It is. It's not. It yeah, exactly. Is. It, it is. Well, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll make sure to put all the details on your class on our website, yoursocialvalley.com.